Hola, mis queridos. Como estas, mi amor, Alicia? Hello, my kittens. How are you? My name is Allison, and today we're playing Grim Tales Stone Queen Collector's Edition. I am so freaking excited, everyone, because the rest of this chapter is freaking intense. I am serious. And it just gets so random. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, whoa, whoa, hey, hoa, hey, whoa. Yeah, it's, I, I'm a mess. <laughs> All right, so I love this so freaking much. I am glad that Elephant Games are now making their menus inter interactive. Freaking cool. All right. Uh, I think they're like one step closer to become a more Maria Glorum game or something. With Maria Glorum, you can actually change the settings of the, uh, what was it, game mode? Normally, you're not, like in the other Grim Tales games, you don't choose. You don't. But now you can, which is awesome. So they're one step away of actually having a fourth option, which is custom, where you can change it to whatever time you want for the hint, how long it takes for you to skip the for the, the skip button to load, and a couple of other things, which I think is really cool. I hope they do that. I hope that comes up in like the next game or something like that. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it though. I'm so excited. So let's just go ahead and get into the game. Yoink! Yeah, continue. Did that just show us something? Yeah, it did. Gosh dang it. Oh hey, flower. That looks kind of different. No, that looks very different. Sorry. Ooh, a crack. There's lights coming out of this crack, and I hear some sounds. I must see what is behind this stone wall. I think I know what that's, those sounds are. <laughs> this is, the miner has an axe. I have to be careful. The overlap is completely dilapidated. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Um, ooh, scoop. A scoop without a handle is useless. I should fix it. But I don't have anything to fix it with. Alright then. Let's go through this in objects. Ooh. Yeah, we found a pin. Awesome. <gasps> the, ah, the bat was interactive! Thank you. Oh my gosh, you are cute. <laughs> oh, I know what we're getting out of this. Uh, that needle. Um. Oh, wait, it's called a coil chain? Okay. Bullet! Bullet, bullet! Hand crutchet if. Yeah, da da dun da dun. Okay, dog, sapphire. I think that's the sapphire. There's the bulb. A rubber band. Um. Pipe. And a dog. Where we? There's a dog. But where is the pipe? Bole bole. Bole bole. Bole 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 bole. I don't remember where the. There it is. Yes. Alright, so now that we have that, I think we are able to do this now. Yeah? Yeah. We have an update on the Dennis Sheldon story. It seems the well-known businessman has strong-armed the city council into appointing him mayor of Stonedale. Strong-armed. He has also gained control of every mine in the area. What? Yes, that's right. It seems every privately held mine is now in Sheldon's possession. He is officially... Wait, what did that say? A famous businessman, Dennis Sheldon, has taken over the mayor position and all of the mines in the town. Why? What are his motives? So, I wonder if he's aware of the, the stones, then. It makes sense. And we're missing buttons. Alright, then. Uh, pieces of amulet? Oh, wait. I think I know where that goes. Here, right? Yeah! Hey -o. 
and I am fortunate to know what this is going to look like. I love the, uh, normally I hate these kind of puzzles, because you have to guess where the, where to click. You don't get notified. But, for this particular game, Grim Tales, thank you, Elephant Games. It actually tells you where you need to click. And it tells you when. Because, look. Yes! Thank you. So, therefore, I believe... I believe, I believe, I believe... Ah, dun, 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 dun. No? Uh, there we go. So that means, um, here. There we go. And that means, here? Yeah! Three, four, five. Um, I forget. There we go. Okay. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering. You know what I'm wondering? What is in the bag? Okay. So I guess that means. Um, here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that means this is four, five. All right. And I suppose, doink. There we go. Got it. Yeah. So now we have. All right. There we go. And this is, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah! Hey, we have the flower! Awesome! Uh, wait, which flower is that? Uh, that is the miner's flower. Awesome. Alright. You are free, Mr. Miner. Beware of underground dangers, traveler. Thank you. This mine is protected by the Stone Queen. People say her world is hidden in the depths of the mines. The entrance to her palace is guarded day and night by an evil beast who's blind, but can feel and smell. Trespassers approach. Okay, so why did he say palace when it clearly says castle? That annoys me. It really bugs me when the voice actor does not say the proper line. What the written line is. That frustrates me all the heck. So, I don't know what to do there. <laughs> but feel and smell a trespasser's approach. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of that. Wait, what did that say? Dang it. Ah! The miner was right. This is the blind troll guarding the stone queen's castle. I'm so glad it can't see my fear. But I can smell your fear, dear, my dear. What the heck? Interactive! Oh my gosh! The nose of this blind beast is highly sensitive to smells, but a strong odor could mislead it. Oh my gosh! So, that is a freaking obvious hint as to what we need to do. What is this? I have to be careful. Yeah. Okay. Ooh! The next year, I couldn't wait to go to my uncle's. A lot of things happened during that year. In the winter, something caused a serious landslide in the mines, and almost all the deep tunnels got buried in stones. People whispered that our miner got too greedy and infuriated the ghost of Mountain, Stone Queen, who collapsed the shafts, the shafts to teach people a lesson. Skeptics objected that the mine was just too old for working. No one ever found a gem there afterwards, and I never saw my friend again. 
Yeah, see? I was right. It appears there was a landslide in the mines many years ago. So I was right. His friend was a stone queen. Well, I mean, that's... I mean, it can, it does add confirmation to my theory. Has add, Adds some evidence to my theory, I should say. This mine sewage drain can obviously open up, but how? Not with a key. Alright, so I guess we need some sort of... Ayo, handsaw. Wait, wasn't there... Oh yeah, there was something that needed the handsaw. This baby. Yes. Let's finish this chapter today. Happy, happy Thursday. Alright. Let's get rid of this beast. I mean, sorry, troll. Giant. Ogre. Yes? Wait, was he cuffed? The smell of sal ammoniac is really abominable. But I'm ready to stand it if it drives the blind trolls away. That was terrifying. That was terrific. More like terrifying. I've never been to a castle before, but the Stone Queen's castle must certainly be one of the most majestic places in the world. Close to it. I gotta tell ya, the city I have in mind for Aquatica and my book series is just as beautiful. Alright, what's this? A crack in the ground? I've already dealt with one. Uh, no, we've dealt with a crack in the wall. Alright, so what do we need here? Uh, three things. Alright. Um. Ugh, this needs a face. Wait, who are you? Oh, hey! It's the little goblin that was in the main menu. Looks like this kind goblin is imprisoned and needs help to get rid of his cage and his shackles. <gasps> and there's the heart! We need that for the music box. Water. This very strange water is not a very good idea to touch it with my bare hands. Um. Wait. Oh, Valve! Yoink! Yes! Amulet! I thought so. It matches. To a T. Hi. This friendly goblin is most in this in these shackles. Um, was there something else? Can I do this? All right. Um, I do believe we have to go over here for the beautiful music box. That's pretty cool. Yes. Give a oh, whoops, wrong click. <laughs> we have the mask. Yes. Oh, I'm so pleased to meet you. Don't think I'm a traitor or anything. Yeah, sure. Uh huh. The Storm Queen locked me here because I didn't want to be her pet anymore. Really? She would have kept me here forever. But you saved me. I'm now your humble servant. The traditions of my people dictate this be so. I'm at your service. I'm gonna look this up. I really don't think that's the rule of the goblins. The traditions of the goblins, I mean. I don't believe it for a second. I've saved the goblin from the Stone Queen and he has promised to help me from now on. His force and knowledge will come in handy. I would imagine so. Alright, let's put these into place. Eh. There we go. Ooh, hey! Yeah, we got buttons. So I'm betting this little guy could help us here. Oh, he unlocked the button for us. Oh, I know where that goes. Right here. Yeah. Boink. Ba boink. Ba boink. All right, so one, three, five. Those are Roman numerals. Yeah. Awesome. We are moving along. I am so freaking excited. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to pull out. Right here. Booyah. 
That was a quick swoosh. Fast one, Open says me. Go through all the gates by putting the pearls in the circles. The gates open when a pearl is placed on the stone of the same color. So this is interesting. I've actually played a similar game like this. I believe in a game, a Facebook game called, I think it was Diggy's Adventure. So we want to move, we got to be careful of this, where we put everything, because it will help us, um, trying to remember where this is supposed to go. I think here? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it does go there. I remember now. Because now we have to move these over here and this over here. Yes. Uh, let's do red first. Uh, yes. Yeah. A uh, booyah. And we can move this over here. I'm gonna this over here. Yay! This kind of thing is also used in one of the Nancy Drew games. I think it was the Crystal Skull. And it wasn't uh, blocks that was in the way. It was laser beams. And we actually had to use the marbles to block those laser beams in order to pass through to the end. Which was crazy. <laughs> A lot more difficult than it seems. How dare you come here uninvited? You will pay for this intrusion. Ah! And this commences chapter two. It's so dark here, I need to light the room up a little. I don't know. Oh, hey, matches. Alrighty then. The room is lit, and I think this is where I'm actually going to stop. I know this makes the video pretty short uh, for what I normally do. I normally try to have the video at least 30 minutes long, uh, 25 minimum. So I guess I'm going to have to talk a bit, and I actually do kind of want to... Looks like a family portrait. The father was his daughter, if I'm not mistaken. He must be the Stone King. Ah! Oh, cool. Wait, something's in there. Crack is too narrow. I have to find something thin to pick up anything stuck here. Alright, that doesn't work. I'm not going to go through the hidden objects. I think I'm going to save that for the next video. I'm afraid that I can't overcome him alone. I need an assistant. Ah! Hmm. Yeah, that works. Yoink! <laughs> I feel sorry for the bear. That was not far. That was not fair. Um. Oh, but we could use a stone here. No. Okay. Or sword. Sorry. Interesting. I think that is that it is necessary to insert something with a specific shape here. Well, we don't have it. Which means it's probably going to be something that we're going to get in the king's things. So, I think that's going to be it. Let's look at the map. Yeah? I think after we open this... Yeah, look. Everything is locked. I think after we open and get out of there, we're going to be entering probably here. And if not, we're going to be entering here fast transitions oh no we're gonna arrive here oh wait a second no that's the end I get it now I get it now all right well like I said that's gonna be it Wow 
That was insane. Well, we are now at the menu, and... Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. We don't actually have a name for the goblin. We just call him Goblin. Um, can I name you... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to name you. Mm -hmm. You know what? That is our goal. That is our goal. That is the goal for you beautiful viewers and kittens. I want you to write down what we should name this little, cute little goblin. And I'm calling him cute because everyone is cute in their own freaking way. Ugly is such a mean word. Retard is a mean word. Please don't use that word. Ugly and retard. Those two words I absolutely do not like. I mean, I do use the word ugly sometimes, but that is because that is my opinion. Well, no one can change that opinion. There are ways of changing people's opinions, but you can't force them to change their opinion. Only guiding works. Don't force it. You know what, my beautiful kittens, my beautiful viewers out there, I am so thankful to have you all watching my content. I am fortunate that I'm actually doing something right to get viewers, to get this beautiful content. And I have so much fun making these videos for you. And I guess that is my way of saying, adieu to you all. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did. And remember, I want you to pick a name for this cute little goblin for the next time we play. And that is it. I love you all. And on that note, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel by watching this video, go ahead and click, 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 click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as the bell icon right next to it. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! Stimpy. Ronnie? Mm -hmm. Nothing from the Harry Potter universe, please. Seriously, I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter. If we name this goblin after one of those characters, I am going to be disappointed.